Uh, cash rock came through. Sativa got my brain blue. Bang new. All my bitches bang too. Thank you. Oh yeah, I can't lose. And I don't need to change shoes. We talking Diamond Hill till they tired of me. Hey, up here, man. What you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, and I'm all like, baby, what you want? Yeah, you know I gotta have it, dog. I'm a, I'm a fun one, but you gotta pay to play. You know I need a lump. Every single day I'm playing suckers like a dump. I'm the one, hun, coming close to none, huh? They ain't got shit on me. When I, when I come around, yeah, I make these bitches have a seat. I'm the shit, I'm the shit. That's why they mad at me. Niggas stay sad, cause this bitch ain't as bad as me. Nigga, nigga stay sad, cause this bitch ain't as bad as me. Oh, Ch Ch Charlie, you got him feeling jelly. Huh? Let the bitch flex, I'ma pop her like a cherry. 40, 40 in the all black Louis. Get the moving goofy, I'ma leave your ass gooey. Bustin', bustin' like a tech, leave a nigga wet. When I hop up on my feet, yes, over nothing next. Give a fuck with my middle finger up. You can catch me in the street like, bitch, what's up? Big, big bag got me popping big tags. Big mag, yeah, bitch, I'm a boss. I'm a boss big, boss. big fine, yeah, I run these niggas' minds. <laughs> I'ma make what? Make them pay the cost. Pay the cost, cost. Big bag got me popping big tags. Big, big mag, yeah, bitch, I'm a boss. I'm a boss. Big, big fine, yeah, I run these niggas' minds. Big, big fine, run broke niggas off. Black girl magic, yeah, I get it like a savage. All I know is living lavish. Yeah, bitch, I got the habit like a smoker with the habit. Like a smoker with the habit. Bet I bet I call your nigga, he gon' spend it automatic. Call me Goldie, bet your bitch know me Made her better her eyes, suck them dry for the money You don't know me, ain't shit about me phony I don't fuck with y'all, so I ride by my lonely Watch your tone when you speak, we ain't homies Too grown for a tweet, pull up on me Stand tall on my feet What's up, what's up, this your boy p Mount, Necessary Chaos TV We got a special guest today I'm gonna send it over to my guest host Hey, what's happening? You already know if you don't. BMG show the host goat, the nigga with the most votes. But you know what's up with me. You can find me at anything on anywhere on the social media platforms at BMG show on IG, at show BMG on Twitter, and Facebook. Just look up BMG show. But enough about that. Right now, we got Pepper Ann in the building. Make some motherfucking noise. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been, Pep? Talk yeah, to him. It's good to you. Good and everybody else. Yeah, I've been great. Good. Just working, working, working. Yeah. Mm. Just working? Yes. <laughs> that's, dope. that's dope, man. So talk to me. Uh, what's going on before we start talking about what you actually got going on with the music? How you been? How's COVID and all this shit been treating you? Shit. COVID done slowed everybody down low key, but... I've been adapting, making shit happen. Word, word. So, it, it didn't slow the money down and no shit like mm -mm. that? It kind of speeded up my money because I work in the health field. So. Same, same. Well, I don't work in the health field, but my money's still good. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit, man. I'm happy that you're here. We're going to get into a few questions. You know, we're going to kick it. But first, we got to take a drink. Let's do it. You ready? And I don't even like this shit. But, you know. Uh, <laughs> you going to take I'm good here with you. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to do it with you. All right. <laughs> if I can't stand it, you first. You want it in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't drink Patron by Tell itself. That's cool. <laughs> ladies first. Ladies first. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey. Salud. Salud. Ooh, it tastes good with the. Yeah, get it loose, get it loose, mm -hmm. man. Well, I'm happy to have you here, man. Appreciate you coming by. So look, first things first. I want to know because I've been I actually been before we actually get into that, we go back. Yeah, we do. We go back. Way back. <laughs> Y'all don't know, we go back like my, excuse my language, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> we go back. So look, we stayed, where was Martin Luther King and Hudson? We stayed in between Martin Luther King and Holly and Hudson, mm -hmm. and she was my next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. When she was young, I remember seeing her when she was young. Yeah. Man, do you remember those days? Yes, in sixth grade. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing y'all, man. For sure. Y'all had the daycares. That was your parents' daycare? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That was probably my grandparents. With Todd and them? Mm -mm. No? But you did stay next door, right? I stayed on Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe? Man, I could have swore. So you must have came Hudson. over there with Todd's little sister. Yeah. Okay, so that's where it was. That's who I used yeah. to hang out with. But Hudson, my family grew up on Hudson when my grandma moved from Arkansas. 
to Colorado, they moved to Hudson Street and been there for a long time. And then everybody dispersed, came back to Park Hill for a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the 90s. The, the 90s, 90s, for sure. For sure. So now you didn't grew up. She making music. So we're going to talk about this music, man. Uh, tell me the origin of your story about the music, through the music. Where did you start doing music? When did you know that you wanted to do this? I started doing music with my family, for sure. Music is like like my family's culture. So we would, you know, have parties, music everywhere, dancing, all that. But my mom, my mom was an MC, mm -hmm. so we would pretty much freestyle on the couch, or you know, freestyle wherever. And um, poetry had a lot to do with it as well. So she would, she would help me try to intertwine the poetry with with music. But I never really took it seriously until I got in college. And my friend pointed it out to me and was like, maybe you should try to do music because certain shit you say and do right. rhymes and your poetry is nice. Try to do something with music. So, you still writing poetry? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I do. <laughs> yeah. Do you be remembering your poetry in your head already? No. no. <laughs> Not no. these days. Yeah, I, used, I started writing poetry as well, too, because of Tupac, actually. Yeah. Um, so your mom, you said she be... She, she flow into it? Yeah, she used to flow a lot. Um, especially growing up. She just busts out and some shit. And then what was, what was her oh, I'm sorry. It was. Okay, so what was her um what was her like what what was her muse? Was she more East Coast, West Coast, Midwest vibe? I would say West Coast. West Coast? Yeah. But she was waiting for busting Easy E and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> That's exactly what That's we was dope. doing. That's we was dope. listening to Easy E. But then, like, when Lil Wayne first came out, she knew about him before anybody else did. I remember my uncle telling me that, like, you need to listen to this little dude named Weezy. Oh, she was hip. Yeah. That's tight. For That's real. Tight. Well, that's dope, man. So. You come from a music background, basically, mm -hmm. with a lot of writing and penmanship going. I mean, like you know, a lot of uh, writing. So that's dope. You ever think about writing for somebody? Like just write. Can't, do you feel a way about your music to where you can't give your music away? I feel like uh, once I become more stronger in my songwriting, I would for okay. sure. Uh, once I'm able to take that creativity from poetry and story writing and turn it into a lyric without a problem, lyrics without a problem, then yeah. That's right. That's I right. would. It's another avenue that it's, makes some money. Hey, they've been telling me about it and I've been I'm I'm reluctant to do it because yeah. I care about everything I put on paper. I think it has I a lot. I think it has a lot to do with vibes too. Yeah, true you that. gotta vibe out with that person too. You gotta I feel like that person has to take it as serious as you and have the same love for it as you and passion as well. You yeah. can't just hand it over. I mean money is that is everything to people in life, but it's not everything. So so money don't motivate you. It for does. The, for the music. To I mean, extent. money motivates everybody. <laughs> but you, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't sell your catalog or something just for some bread. No, no. Like how that dude Lil Wayne just sold all his shit. He sold everything. Bread. Else's shit. He ain't sell his shit. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. Or something like that. I when I seen that, that, I was like, no, <laughs> I don't care. It's just, some, it's, it's creativity for me. I, I'm more of a person that likes to like hold on to things and cherish things right. than to. Um, give them away or buy them out. If I give them away, it's because it's something I share between me and that person. Bless, bless. Yeah. Okay, that's dope, man. So, with that, get, with that being said, what do you want out of your music? Like, what is it that you're looking to get out of it? Are you looking to get a lot of feedback from a lot of people, or are you putting it out solely for yourself? Like, is it is it therapy, or is it you want to reach somebody else and try to help them, and try to like-minded people and try to you know gravitate towards you? I think my perspective has changed a lot throughout this journey of letting people know publicly that I'm an artist. At first, I did it just for fun. Like, mm -hmm. I would, you know, okay, it's fun to go to the, uh, uh, to the studio and record. Now it's fun to make videos. Now it's fun to do shows. And then I have people in my ear like, you know, you can make money off of this. Like, yeah. you know, you're putting all this money in it, at least make the money back. And then when I learned how to make the money back, it was like, now you can make more money than just your money back. Yeah. So now I take it as a career and I take it seriously. Right. Um, I always grew up with the thought in my head, do what you love to do as a job. Mm -hmm. So that way you're not miserable in your work. Right. So I'm like, I love music and I love everything that comes with music. So I'd rather have that as a job. Now, um, I want my music to connect to people for sure because I feel like music is an avenue or a portal to connect to someone that you don't even know, right. you know? So, besides that, I mean, my perspective changes as the years go by for sure. Okay. Dope, dope. 
Do you you remember your first song you recorded? Yeah, I did. I was there. (laughs) Yeah, he was. I helped you write a little bit. I never wanted to say that. I know you, know, you sure I did. Like, oh, yeah, don't put me in the credits. I helped her write her first song. Yeah. You still, you still uh, go to YGN? Mm-hmm. Dope, dope. Shout I out sure to YGN, do. Yeah, man. That's the podcast. My nigga there. FL, bro. Put me yeah. on for show. Ramsey. Shout out Chef Ramsey. Ramsey Danzy. So. That's crazy, too. Because, <laughs> like, when I first. When I first tried music, my homegirl had took me to another studio. I'm not gonna say no names because I don't want to be feeling like I'm gonna throw some shade. But I didn't feel comfortable there. And actually, the engineer there had made me feel like, nah, I don't even wanna try this again. Like, I don't even wanna waste my money. Like, some no, no, no. Type no, shit? like, I should already know. Like, I'm a beginner. I've never even re- recorded, uh, I've never even, like, wrote a song, fam. So, yeah. this is just awesome shit. My homegirl was like, come on, let's just try it. And I went in there and he was like, you should already know what you're doing. And I'm getting tired of this. Nigga was falling asleep and shit. I was like, all right, bro. But then CC Visions. Mm-hmm. CC Visions. I was fucking with CC Visions stuff. And he was like, you need to try. You need, I'm going to take you somewhere where you can feel comfortable. Trust me. And I was just like, damn, no. Yeah. Damn, no. Nah. And he's like, no, I'm going to take you. So he took me to FL's that night on Darkness and Hampton. And I met FL and everybody else there. And I got in that room and I was like, I'm a little scared, but when I seen that room and I was by myself and it felt like I was by myself, yeah. I was like, all right, I'm going to try now. Mm-hmm. And then dope. two years later, I was at FL in his granny's basement with the twins. For yeah. sure. Yep. That's Amen. crazy. And y'all did, a, y'all did like a, a posse cut that night. Y'all yeah. Did, there was like five of y'all on there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. Okay, that was dope, man. That was a really dope thing. But that's good. We can, um, like what you said, like the vibe. So... What do you use your music for? Like, how do you use it? Like, are you, like, this is a separate from the questions that we didn't already ask. Like, are you finding any type of therapy? Like, any type of release? Like, I have. Yeah. I have, um, I made a, a song about a year ago and I got fired from the job. <laughs> and nobody was listening to me because I like to rub my mouth when I'm upset, you know, but to the right people. So nobody was listening to me. I'm like, fuck this. So I, saw, I started writing a verse and that's how I learned how to take my feelings and emotions and put them into the song. Yeah. Before that, I was just rapping and writing shit that everybody was my age group were trendy. Like, type trendy. Shit. And now at this age, I'm writing more about how I feel, but also more on where people can connect that, even if I haven't experienced myself. That's why I'm reaching out to songwriters and other people, because that's another connection with a person. They may have been through something, but I can voice it for them. Yeah, you know? they don't want to do it. See mm-hmm. that, see that. That's dope. So, Pep. <clears throat> Is your music taking you places? Are you doing like strictly Denver shows? Have you performed out of town at all? Are you, you have anything lined up in the future? Um, so 2020 was like a year of some personal shit. So I had to take a break and deal with it with family and personal. Right. But before that, I was definitely like charged and focused to take it out of state. And I went to Atlanta for about two weeks and out there I put in so much work it landed me a show after a show after a show and then I have to go of course so I know I have the potential and capability to do that from that yeah. experience but here I definitely do get shows and I'm starting to get um, other people to collab with me and things of that nature but I want to take it out of state for sure for sure um, I have gotten some offers for out of state shows I'm just trying to see if my stars align with that right. <laughs> for real you got anybody like um like representing for you, like representing you to, to um no. like speaking for you, like a manager, publicist, anything? I do everything by myself right now. Every, uh, that how you want it right now, or do you like you no. for help? No, <laughs> I need help. It's hard, ain't it? <laughs> I need help. Yeah, at first, it like hard. if you would have talked to me in 2019, I'd be like, I got this. You don't need nobody's help. I was that like independent with it, but now after experiencing things, and I'm like, bro, I need a manager. I need an investor, I need my own engineer, own producer, and I need a best friend to keep me on top of things. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Well, shit, hey, before hold on. Cheers to Cheers. getting fired and you putting your real <laughs> right? in the music. <laughs> for real. I just opened up more opportunities and it shows you what you can do with your mm-hmm. with, with your actual feelings and not just right. that trendy shit. Right. So the way that works, y'all got to drink when you cheers, Yeah, man. true that. Okay. <laughs> 
Pep, what I say, because I've been to uh, a few of your concerts, and I think that you're going places, and uh, you know you're sitting next to the host, though. Yeah. The nigga with so, the host, though. Yeah. Please tell her what you do, some of the stuff that you do, and, and trust me, use this man next to you. Yeah, we've been talking besides this. In yeah, the show. yeah, I always run into her in business, uh, in business places. So, you know, I, uh, it'd be hard to actually talk. Is it hard to talk about yourself sometimes? I be forgetting. I do a lot of stuff. I'm yeah. the host, though. You know, the nigga with the most votes, if you don't know. I get booked for all the big shows, a lot of the big shows in Denver to host and to perform. But the biggest show I got going right now is Denver Day in Atlanta every every year, July. Yeah, Denver Day in Atlanta every year, July 26th to the 28th or maybe like 25th to the 27th. That's up in the air, but it's always the end of July. And it's a uh, it's a really dope like festival. It's getting big, you know what I'm saying? So it's getting really big. We doubled the numbers the, the last year we did it before COVID. And, and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger, you know what I mean? And uh, it's been opening a lot of doors for me, especially the money in Atlanta. You know what I mean? So I, you absolutely should come to the Denver I've been day. to one. You've been I've one? been to the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do that. First time I went to Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. The Happy first time you went? Yeah. What year was that? 2019. Oh, so you went the last one? Yeah, I went to that the last was a, one. That, 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 that one was this dope. This cracking. <laughs> the next one, though, the next one, this it's this year. As long as COVID don't step on our toes. It's not. Man, look, <laughs> we got plans. We got so much plans for it's the artists, for the, for, the, uh, for the consumers, for the community, the kids. So just stay tuned for that. That's Denver Day in Atlanta, 2021. You make sure you check and you, you clear your calendar for that because everybody's coming out yeah, to that. Yeah, that's just a blast. Yes, indeed. On the side of that, you know, I got businesses. I got Denver Global Promotions. I'm trying to, well, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm actually expanding this brand and I'm, and I'm making sure that I'm representing the city in a, in, a, in a proper way and not just chasing clout or, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm really trying to showcase the small businesses, the, the dope artists, MCs, the up and comings, the ones that aren't even getting no shine. I look for them more, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I don't try to prey on them on their pockets. I right. make sure that they have an opportunity. Like, look, ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I'm not trying to hurt nobody's pockets. I'm trying to give somebody a, a way up. So, I want it to be as big as the um, the, the the world star pages or the um, what's that stupid page that shows black people going fucking crazy all the time. TMZ, uh, TMZ and um, uh, I'm not sure you talking you know what I'm about. talking about. I don't, exactly what I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the name. That's not the way Denver Global is structured, and we're not gonna. I'm not gonna ever, ever, ever put nobody from this industry in this city or any other city and, and have them looking like fools on that under my mm -hmm. business. I just can't do it. I know that's what everybody wants, but I don't do that. Right. On top of that, I do music, of course. I'm BMG Show. You know, at BMG Show. Look me up. Instagram at BMG Show. Twitter at Show BMG. YouTube, BMG show. Um, the music speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know about the music. I ain't yeah, you know, yeah, it's you hard, know, it's you hard. Know, you, know, you, know, you know about the music. Um, and then I got the. Um, I also have the most convenient car detailing. So if you ever need a detail on your car, you know, just hit me up at BMG me. Show on Instagram or Twitter at Show BMG. And um, just hit me up, I'll shoot you the a website, you fill it out, it's very simple, it's very cut and dry, you don't have to go through a whole bunch of craziness to get you an appointment, and then I'll come pick your car up and drop it back off to you at your house or your job, or you can drop it off at my office, we'll do it, and then you can come get it, or it's the most convenient, I'm yeah, trying to make it the make most convenient as I can for you, and it's LLC, and it's black owned, of course, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but yeah man, um, and there's more stuff. I just I, I usually be spacing it out, but that's like the key things right now that I got going on. Mm -hmm. Denver Day, Denver Global, um, the music, the most convenient car detailing, and um, now this year. That's hard. Necessary chaos. I need baby. my car. Yeah, Please the show. I'm sure. <laughs> I got you because it's necessary. It is. <laughs> Facts. So. The future plans with the music. What do you want to do? Where do you see it going? What is it like? What's your, what do you see in your future? The next three to five years through music. Mm. What are you working for? What are you manifesting? I'm manifesting it to be bigger than what everybody sees me to be. I see myself definitely as a star for sure. I see myself on a on a big stage, you know, big bag, and surpassing all of that you know how usually artists once they get there they start to invest in clothing and 
advertising. It opens gateways yeah, to other yeah. things. Once my gateway opens, I'm gonna invest in health healthcare. I'm gonna start opening up nursing homes, medical supplies, yeah. things of that nature because it's generational cash. Absolutely. For one. For two, it's my second nature taking care of people. I love people and I love to take care of them. Yeah. So that for sure, um, that can happen within five to ten years, but in the next three years, definitely bigger than Colorado. Mm-hmm. That my name will definitely be out here. I'll definitely be known out here, but I'm gonna be known in other places. You sure. mentioned you let them know where you where you told them first that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So now we towards the end of the interview. This is your time, Pep. Toot your horn. Sell big pep. Make for, make sure everybody can book big fine pep. Big fine pep. Hey. <laughs> He's the one. <laughs> oh God, he is the one. And everybody loves that shit. <laughs> they do. All right, so big fine pep. You can find big fine pep on Facebook under Pep Brand. Uh, big fine pep on uh, Instagram under Pep Brand Big Fine Pep. Snapchat Big Fine Pep. Facebook Big Fine Pep. Um, I don't have a Twitter yet. Get one. Gonna make one ASAP. I just don't know how to work that bitch, <laughs> but I'm gonna make one. Get you one um, and then also my Gmail, bigfinepep at gmail.com. I definitely check that shit every day. So if you got beats, showcases, anything, send them hoes in. Um, they have been coming in, so you might wanna tap in with me. Um, besides that, I'm about to have a YouTube, YouTube channel called Big Fine Pep. And on that, I'm gonna be showcasing uh, Tea Time with Pep. I'm gonna have tea parties with artists and local business owners and songwriters, anything of that nature. We're just going to smoke and sip some tea and talk about life and what they do. So, yeah. Where are you going to do that at? In my backyard. In your backyard? In my backyard. Okay. We're going to talk, talk about that. I want to talk about that. Oh, That's, dope. That's dope, man. Well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy Thank you came, man. Give me a hug. Thank I know you. it's cold. Give me a fuck what they talking about. Right? No, we good, man. We got to I'm straight. <laughs> No, for real though, dope to, dope to see you grow up. I've seen you grow up at, from, the youth, from the youth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all done see me at the Well Street Cafe, yeah. the Five Points, the K, yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, man. Uh, very decorated in, uh, in life, so mm-hmm. for sure. Good to see you. Happy that we did this. I'm happy that you guys have me, for sure. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm BMG Show, the host goat, the nigga with the most folks. If you need to find me, at BMG Show on Instagram, at Show BMG on Twitter. BMG show on Facebook. Don't ask me for my Snapchat. I don't be talking to people on there. Yeah, this is Necessary here. Chaos TV. You know me, man. Necessary Chaos TV. Big Fine Pep in the building. Hey, hey, it's stuck. It's, it's stuck. stuck. And it's stuck. <laughs> P-Mount, Necessary Chaos TV. Thanks a million, Pep, for coming through. Thank you. Host Goat with the most votes right on BMG show. You know it's love. We'll holla. Cash rock came through, sativa got my brain blue, bang new, all my bitches bang too, thank you, oh yeah I can't lose, and I don't need to change shoes, we talking diamond hill till they tired of me, I swear the shit I charge is just to tire money, if you ain't working then you fire money, my shit is Jesus walk through the wire money, put me on the flyer money,